This photo, also known as Tank Man, was taken on June the 4th, 1989 during the crackdown on pro-democracy students in Tiananmen Square. It was snapped by Associated Press photographer Jeff Widener and is widely considered to be one of the most iconic photos of the 20th century. Mr. Widener recently arrived in Hong Kong for the 25th anniversary of the event and he spoke to us about the lesser known images he took during his time covering the protests and what he expects from attending the annual vigil in Hong Kong. You know, I thought about uh, it very carefully before coming out here, but it just seemed like the right thing to do 25 years later. A lot of times journalists have to be very, you know, uh, unbiased. I mean, they have to be uh, neutral, but we're also human. And so for me, this was a very personal event and it was a part of my life, and I'm very curious to see uh, the, the, um, the follow-through on this event that happened 25 years ago. I really want to see how the reaction is going to be from the, 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 the citizens here. This group of photographs here represents pretty much my entire coverage of Tiananmen Square. The Occupy Tiananmen Square was very well organized. They had a ring of security, uh, lunch was being provided, and it was very well organized. But later on it started getting very tense, and to break up that tension, some of the students had performers, some of the folks were singing, young children were dancing. This policewoman was singing along with the crowd, and I, I do believe there was a lot of uh, sympathetic support from the soldiers and the, the, the police. That night is when uh, I came very close to dying and I was running low on the battery power but it saved my life because as I was waiting while all this activity was going on the minute that the orange uh, light went on I brought the camera to my face that's when a rock hit me and the camera absorbed the the blow and fortunately the film stayed intact. On the same day that I shot the photograph of Tank Man, this truckload of soldiers came by and they would randomly go down the streets and the side streets just shooting at people. You never knew when they were going to start firing. I don't even have this picture on my wall at my house because I just get a shiver every time I look at it thinking how close I came to losing the photo. Because the automatic camera was adjusting for the proper shutter speed, but when you shoot an 800 millimeter at 30th of a second, it's an impossible shot. It was a miracle that this picture came out. A miracle. <laughs>